Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mohammed. Today I'm going to teach you and explain to you how to get an independent study program credit with FEMA training. This is from FEMA. What you go do is you take online courses with FEMA and you get credits for it. I'm going to show you step by steps how to apply for it, what to do, how to do it. I'm going to show you everything in this small clip of the videos. Now, in the first of all, you have to go on Google. Put in FEMA independent study. Once you do all that, you click on the first link. This is the first link that will pop up. Click on this. And once you're here, you'll see this, the front page of the FEMA Emergency Management Studio, EMI course schedule, all this. You click on going down. You click on total active courses. So basically, these course right there says March and February, no new course. So every time a new course comes in, at the end of the month, they'll put a course over here. So basically telling you this is the one that just came up for this month. So this is what these are. All the way bottom, you can sign up for a free email subscription. But as you all know, you know they'll send you email about their information and everything. It's up to you if you want, you know, to get updated on FEMA. So you click on Total Active Course 190. 195 courses are active, and uh, you go over here. If you want all of them, because they have a lot of pages, you just click all. So the Independent Study Program courses, which means that it's not an instructor-led course basically like an online course once you do all, all this you'll get some credits and uh, you know you'll from it's like college credits you get so it's basically very good to have if you're planning to get for the NYPD or for the state trooper test or NASA County Police Department or any type of any type of enforcement agents where they require you some credits and you want some credits you know you could take these courses and transfer to your college some colleges do not all not all colleges don't so always make sure from your college before even taking these courses because you don't want to take some courses and that that doesn't transfer to your college you want to get disappointed so you don't want to do all that so make sure from your college or from your call, talk to your advisor what they say so I'll, so let's say for example the first course is radiological emergency management you click on it and what it does is it takes you a new page so they are emergency management and it tells you the, the course date when this was basically posted the course overview how what type of course is going to be the pre prerequisite is going to be none obviously CEUs is one credit course that is 10 hours so each course will tell you about how many hours you have to do so this course is 10 hours some might be five some might be four some might be even half an hour depending on what you are looking for and uh, it just gives you take this course the final exam is over here and uh, you could just click on over here the course this is how it's going to be some might be a little bit screens might be different whatever it's going to be you'll you'll see it once you, once you take the course so it's going to be lessons from unit one to unit six sometimes they have uh, multiple choice of questions at the end of the lesson like lesson two might have it some might have it some might not depending on what it is and some might have the final take the final exam it will take you to a new page uh, basically once you pass these tests you'll you'll get a certification stating that you completed these tests and everything and uh, if before taking all these tests you have to register and get a FEMA SID number so let's click on here this please note that the IS program now requires a FEMA SID to be used instead of your social security number now some back uh, a couple of years ago when I first registered they wanted you to get a social security number so you put in the social security number and then you'll get a FEMA SID number basically now they change it you just put in social security number they still want it then you get your SID number it's like a FEMA SID number so basically what you do you register for here uh, you are now exiting the Federal Emergency Management Agency now now you click enter site you click on this now you hit your new page student identification system from FEMA so it tells you what is the FEMA SID number FEMA student identification number is a unique number generated and assigned to anyone who needs who is required to take training provided by a FEMA organization so let's say for example sometimes there's a, a besides the online study program for this one there's also coursework where you have to sit in the classroom before even participate with the with something that deals with FEMA you need this number so basically it's good to have keep it in your wallet if you ever taking some courses uh, you know in person with instructor that they're gonna ask you for this so, so you need it so even though you might not want to take the online course but you take a classroom course you probably want to need this so the FEMA SID number uniquely ident uh, identifies you throughout the FEMA organization and all of its agencies. So the goal is to f is for you to f uh, FEMA SID to serve as your personal identification number instead of your social security number. In support of FEMA's effort to decrease, seize the use of social security number for identifying and tracking individual. So basically, long story short, it's best to have that number rather than having a social security number. So it's always good to have. So. 
Uh, you can look into it if you want, if you have an FSID number, if you want to create an online account with them, as well as up to you. Uh, how to do it is simple. The register for FEMA SID number. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your name. So let's put John. No optional. Joe. Made your name. Okay, these are all options. You don't have to. Work email. John Joe. At gmail.com. Okay, same thing. I don't think so. They'll let me go into it because I'm just making up a name just to show you how to do this. Proper phone number. Um, alternate email, alternate phone number. Where were you born? Let's put this. This. Alright, 1980. Say your birth. Let's put Brooklyn. Let's put Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Say your birth. Uh, where is Brooklyn? Hmm. I'm in state. Oh, so yeah. Just, just New York. Security questions, question one, two, three, and then you click on this. So basically they'll either email it to you or they'll mail it to you. Um and uh, they'll you'll get a a FEMA SID number. So you'll see your name on it, you get an SID number. That basically is going to be your identification number. And you have a small barcode on it. So basically somebody could scan it as well or the number on it depending on what they send you to you so you could use that for uh, basically you need that to take the classes I mean once you pass the test they're gonna ask you for that number either ways so it's better to have that number so if you're taking an online course or if you're taking an independent study course they also have helpful numbers over here right over here or you have the email address and each time you complete a course like, like I said before one of these courses you complete you get let me see where is it again you get a student identity um, you get a certification basically the certification is gonna help you get you know like saying that this then you know my name is this you get recognized taking the certification course so it's good to have um, it's good to basically you know show you can also the more courses you take the better it is for your knowledge like I said you could put it in your resume you could put it in uh, you could put it in you know like uh, on your transcript with, uh, like sometimes FEMA does also work with some of the colleges I can't remember the colleges on top of my head at this time but they have they have they have a college where uh, you could transfer your course with them and you could get credits for them I, I can't remember which college it was um, it was I know that they had it when I when I when I took some courses at this time I can't remember at exactly what it is if I do remember I'll, I'll put in the link um, what the college, uh, you know, what the college uh, information is, where you could transfer your courses and get actually get credits. I I have actually remember some people did tell me that they took some, some taken a lot of courses at FEMA and they uh, transferred to that college, and they did get college credits. Like they even got a diploma because they they took some online courses and they transferred to the FEMA courses, which is recognized, and they got a they got a like an associate degree with for every you know, emergency management diploma. So these basically will will you know will, in the long run will help you out. Every time you pass a course, they will email you the certification. That's what they did when I did my part. I mean, at this time, I haven't taken any FEMA course recently, so I cannot say it for at this moment. Maybe they changed it. Maybe they didn't. But when I took it, they did email me the certification stating your name to make sure your name is correct. Make sure your email address is correct. Make sure your FEMA SID number and your social security number, that if you have at that time, is correct because you don't want to give something the wrong wrong information. Um, let me look into this as well. So basically, these are all the uh, information that you need. You can also go to the frequently asked questions as well. Uh, do you have any other questions over here? You could also just check into it just, just in case maybe somebody did ask the same question. Uh, look, this like for example, this one when I receive my certification, uh, you see, like I said before, you email it once you do business days that you'll, you'll, you'll be updated a transcript. Basically, you'll start getting a transcript with them. Like if you take 10 courses, you could request a transcript by emailing it, email it them, and it'll show you the amount of courses that you completed so far. Um, uh, let's see but the college question if they did ask the college question uh, oh, here it is this was a college Frederick Community College this is the section where actually you, the, the college basically will you know a, a, a Frederick Community College where it transfers your credits to the uh, to this college and you could get into it here it is. I couldn't actually find it out before so basically um, I never did this part I never got my credits part so this tell you each credit is $82 per semester hour 
it's pretty cheap um, and basically you know we'll uh, we'll basically say that you went to this college it's not that bad um, if you need to you could do that as well just double check with the college just in case you never know maybe these things are outdated and you don't want to find out that this $82 is $820 per credit uh, so it's always double check with every part you do call them up email them it's not a bother to them that's their job to help people out so just call them up and make sure everything is correct so you know you don't want to mess it up um if you have any other questions please comment on the video like and subscribe i'll be making more videos about this uh about other um items as well uh, thank you very much for your time and have a beautiful day